Hi, I'm Aaron, AKA Vision Aaron, and welcome to my channel. I try to share a bit of my creativity and positivity and hopefully inspire you in your own creative projects because I'm all about color and fun and living life in a creative way. So I often try to uh, dress in theme with whatever I'm working on. So of course, if I'm going to be doing a colorful window display full of circles, why not wear this, you know? Um, and I create my own clothing also. So I might share some of that in the future too. I had the pleasure of working on the window display for Paige Sargison Jewelry on the corner of Hoyt and Atlantic in Brooklyn, New York. And it's great because there's a lot of foot traffic and there's a lot of people walking by and, and um, it was a chance to bring some fun and color and smile to people's faces, hopefully. I had to kind of first attack it by looking at the bamboo circles that I wanted to use as the structure for these colorful rings I was going to be creating out of cellophane. And I had to place them on the ground in front of the window to get an idea of how many I might need. And it's a bit tricky because it's kind of like you're, you're painting with shapes, but you need to make sure you have enough of the structures in order to fill up the space that you'd like. So my advice is to make sure you buy a little bit more. And if you have any left over, you can use them for another project, but make sure you have enough to fill up the space. Because when I first did my kind of first test on the ground in front of the store, I realized I needed a lot more to do the work that I wanted to do. I then had to take all the different cellophane that I had sourced from different places so that I'd get a lot of different shades and kind of place it and then figure out what order I kind of wanted them to flow in above and below around the existing artwork in the shop window. And I needed to see which circles would fit on which pieces of cellophane because they're all different sizes. So I was limited that only some circles could fit on some colors. And that was one of the constraints that I had to work with and trying to find a puzzle where I could optimize you know, the different colors that I had and, and also making sure I placed colors that were slightly different next to each other because it creates more visual interest and a little bit more interesting flow when you don't have all the exact same shades right next to each other. Once I got them laid out and then I was able to uh, put the bamboo circles on top of the different colors, I then had the fun task of putting hot glue on all of the bamboo circles and then placing it quickly onto the cellophane and uh, making sure that it was adhered and then cutting them out. And I learned later as I went along that it's good to leave some gaps because afterwards I was going to need to feed a fishing line, a transparent fishing line through the circles in order to attach them and to hang them. And the ones that were completely glued all around, I had to kind of pop the glue off a little bit to be able to um, get the fishing line through it. So what I ended up doing is um, with a lot of the circles, I would leave little gaps. And if anything popped off because it wasn't glued enough, you can always correct it afterwards with a little bit of extra hot glue, but it's better to leave a few gaps and it makes the attachment uh, much easier when you're trying to deal with like a, an invisible thread and trying to tie them, you'll see me. Um, it was a labor of love and a lot of fun. Um, and you can see the, the process in some of these shots where I'm kind of figuring out groupings and trying to place colors next to each other that have a good flow and that um, are still interesting to look at and that would create a sort of stained glass window effect when you looked at them from the inside. Then I had to make sure that those groups were structurally stable as I hung them up, because sometimes even though they were attached, tied together, when you hang them up, they would kind of bend and things like that. So then I had to make sure I either tied them tighter and or glued them with the hot gun, uh, hot glue gun in order to stabilize them a bit more. And um, I would also tie some of the groups of rings that I ended up hanging lower. I would tie them to the ones that I hung above. So that way I would um, stabilize them further. I first started working on the rings that were gonna be at the very top of the window because there's light bulbs there already and I wanted them to have kind of nice spacing around the light bulbs. And that part, once I got that locked down, then I could kind of play with um, the circles down below that were gonna be suspended kind of in air. I uh, wanted to get the top done first and that's what I was able to accomplish by the time, you know, nighttime came around. Um, but then I had to come back and, and finish it the next day. But I made sure to wear the same outfit because I want to match the project I'm working on. So I'll repeat a look if there's an artistic reason for it, you know? 
So I had to group them together and then hang them, trying to see which position or which angle might frame the images nicely, connect them all together. It was a little bit of like architecture pulling strings and trying to make sure everything was stable and didn't blow too much when people walked in the door or with air conditioning and things like that. Also making sure that I left enough space below because there were also these um, special design pillows that are really interesting shapes and they're very cute and, and fun and playful handmade uh, pillows that uh, also went in a sort of rainbow flow that was following the circles that I created above. So um, I needed to make enough space for them below and uh, they work really well and they all combined together to create this really cool rainbow flow. There is some reflection on the window depending on the time of day for the light. So it's fun to see when you walk from side to side how certain colors reveal themselves more when you go from left to right or right to left. And I think that that makes the experience more positive when people walk by and they kind of see the colors pop out. And um, It was fun to experience it and then watch other people experience it as they walked by. Some people, while I was doing some finishing touches uh, during the daytime, during shop hours, they even stopped and took pictures of me working because I was matching the, the colored circles that I was uh, hanging in the window, which I'm always you know, happy if they're gonna look, make sure they have something to look at. When you see the jewelry in the display cases, you'll see there's lots of colored precious gems and sapphires, rubies, emeralds, and it just looks like magic to me. Some of these rings, they're all hand carved, so to me they look like something that a magician would have worn or king or queen in other times. And, uh, kind of fanciful and I really like the handcrafted textures to them and those jewels and gemstones I feel are really reflected in the, the colorful window display that I created. The end result was so satisfying for me because it's uh, creating a world more full of color, more uh, symbolically inclusive and um, also uh, kind of hopefully uh, echoing the handcrafted nature of the jewelry you find inside of the shop and other crafts from other artisans that you'll find inside the store. Thank you so much for watching this video as I crafted a kaleidoscope of color in a window display in Brooklyn, New York. It's so fun for me to bring that color and life into the world and I live my own life in a sort of over-the-top technicolor way and so this was a perfect project for me. If you're interested in more fun quirky content, then uh, like and subscribe below and follow me on Instagram at Vision Aaron, and I'll share some more of my creative projects as I design my own clothing, upcycle, and I'm even working on my own um, home renovation where I am trying to make it be very non-cookie cutter and interesting and hopefully you'll enjoy that too. So stick around and I'll see you in the next one.